Cool. And we're live. And we're live. Evening, peeps. It's Hello. me. <coughs> uh, no, that way. No, yeah, that way. My co-hosts. Um, we have Wayne the Wood Turner and Dale from Maple Tree Studios. Um, thanks, guys, for being my eyes and ears and mouth. Um, appreciate as always. Thank you very no much problem. for no problem. Just pop in and cause bedlam. I mean, help. I mean, <laughs> <laughs> I think JB JP was said he might pop in at some point. So yeah, give us a shout if you see him. Um, I'll try and keep the head. Fit. Oh, here we go. Speak of the devil. Hello. <clears throat> Is it by magic? The JP. Evening, JP. Evening. Thanks for Whoa. being the eyes and ears, boys. As no I worries, say, sir. I'll get cracking. I'll show everyone what we're doing and where we're going. Uh, quick hello to the guys I can see in the chat. If you see anybody else, let me know, gents. Uh, David, um, Herb, Leona, Joy. And I can't see anybody else at the moment. <coughs> my chat thingy, what's it? But let me know. Oh, and Jeff. And Nick. Yeah, Nick's in. I didn't see it. They hadn't refreshed on my screen yet, so sorry about that. Jen. Dale's in there as well. No, Dale's not in there. <laughs> Doppelganger. Right, cool. So, let me zip that off. Right. I will zip you off, guys. Thank you. Planet. Most kind. Woo my mm. ugly one. Right. So, uh, you're probably not going to see that too well. Yes. Right. Still got that to carve out. That we've still got a couple of the runes to carve out. You can still see the pen marks. And I've got the bottom detail bit to go. There's going to be a bit Stace of sand in. Hi, Stace. Hi, Stace. Hi, Stace. Um, there's a bit of sand in to do, a bit of hogging out to do. Hopefully, get the majority, if not all, done tonight. So let's get cracking. I'll flick you around to uh, carving cam and uh, we'll get started. Stace! <clears throat> In the chat, we've got Steve T. We've got Jeff. We've got aforementioned Stace. We've got Dave McLaren, uh, Jeff, uh, Nick, and various other suspects. Oh, Joy's in too. And so is TFT. Oh, that would be that, couldn't it? Oh. <laughs> so you were saying that? So you were saying when? What was it you were going to say? Oh, oh right. yeah, you, um, can see, you, can, you can see it a lot better now. Mm. Just a, um, a few people have um, messages and um, obviously commented on the on Facebook. Uh, just a, a quick update. Um, the water did come in the house, um, and then. Luckily enough, um, everything sort of levelled out. So the water didn't get very high in the house. In the workshop, it was up to about two, two, two and a half foot in the workshop. But everything, electrical and all the important tools and everything were, were off the floor. Still very wet in there. Um, we're concentrating on the house at the moment. Um, the main worry for me was the the VB36 because all the, the well the inverter and all the electronics are in the bottom section um, which obviously yeah. did get get hit by water but I've been in there this morning and started her up and she was running absolutely fine the other worry was the the bandsaw because my bandsaw the motor is well towards the ground and um, but that's working as well so all good and I'll get in, I'll get a fire started in there tomorrow. The wood burner, I should say, started in there tomorrow. Yeah. Started getting the stuff dried out, and um, hopefully I'll still be live on Wednesday night. No. Awesome. Just yeah. don't let Steve... There's the update. Just don't let Steve Twydell come around and help with that fire part of this. I feel the <laughs> I think that might not end well. The, 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 man, the, man, appears, the, the man appears to have an interest... <clears throat> <laughs> he 
doesn't have a wood burner in the, the, the you know he doesn't no he doesn't does he hopefully it'll work out well, really well the, the th right the other thing with the house Dale will be able to tell you this as well because he's been the house a, a couple of times all of the main pieces of furniture that we've got in the house are actually up on six inch blocks of wood because we have been flooded in the past so we have taken that that precaution that everything uh, in Poland is actually up on six inch blocks of wood. I was impressed um, by that. I must confess that was foresight and planning and thinking, but also at the same time slightly disappointed that they weren't all beautifully turned wood turned wood turned pieces. <laughs> 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 I was impressed, slightly disappointed all at the same time. Sorry man. <laughs> no. Just, just lumps of pressurized timber cut into six inch blocks. That's it. Wooden wheels. <laughs> Well, the the, uh, the majority of my machinery is actually on wheels, and the the combination machine I've got I've got a um, start rate combination machine. That's um, well, that's well high. That is, I can't actually use it as a table saw because it's it's, it's up above bloody waist height. Um, but yeah, all precautions are being taken. It's just the once. I mean, we've even got very, very decent flood walls, but the water just comes underneath, you well, know, and you once... No, nah, nothing you can do. Now, nah, once the water gets in, once it starts coming, I mean, you hear all these people complaining on the on the news and everything about, um, oh, this should be done, that should be done, this should be done. Once the water gets there, there is bugger all you can do about it. That's it. There's nowhere for it to go. Nah. I would say, uh, <clears throat> out in the chat with Flaming Turner says, I think Steve needs to be sent to PA to help him. I think he means Pyromaniacs Anonymous. <laughs> um, Dave, Graham Wooden, that annoys me when you don't get the notifications. Oh, they're talking about Ruben's premiere tonight. Um, Steve says, damn, I was doing division with Robbie. I had fire, but that's all. Question mark, question mark, question mark. <laughs> there was a, a comment made, Steve, mostly by me, the, oh, actually, it begins with Wayne. Wayne was telling us about getting out and getting the, the wood burner, getting the fire going. Then he changed his mind to, to, to wood burner. At that point, I commented, oh, Ben, I'll let Steve hear that. <laughs> ben, I actually don't remember what I said, but it was something like, oh, Ben, I'll let Steve you have, any, you have anything to do with that. The man, the man has, the man has the, what was that I said? The man, the man likes it too much or something like that? I don't know. Fire, anyway. Yes, Dale, spot on. <laughs> Splendid. Splendid. I can't remember what I said, but it was funny, I thought. Anyway. In Wayne, answer, to, you, you want... in oh, answer to your comment, Larry, um, we did actually think about doing that. The other thing we thought of was actually having the, the roof raised so we would actually have an upstairs to get into. Oh, that would work. Hmm. But um, with our financial position at the moment, we can do F all. Night-night. I'm just saying night-night. Jane's away to bed. Night-night. 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 JP shouting night-night. JP shouting night-night. Um, Leona Don't says something. Leona yeah. says Which is, 75 sleeps to make a several just in, or 74 for those of us arriving on the Friday. Oh. 74? Yeah. That's a really that few. Sounds like a dog saying good night as well. That yeah, that's, like the, that's, that's the dogs just going out. <laughs> it does sound a little. I mean, I haven't quite worked out which one's which for the barking, but Bryn is certainly the most um, energetic of the bunch. He's certainly the most energetic. The main one you can hear barking there is Kasha. That's the black one. Mm. Kasha's lo lovely. Lovely. Quiet. Oh, are you are you two uh, coming up to That's the plan next weekend? That's the plan. Yeah. Just got, to a couple of bits of, just got a couple of bits to sort out kind of thing about how we're going to meet up and all that. But the plan is to be there on the Friday night. Oh, grand. I've got the hotel booked for Friday where are, night. Where are you? Um, me usual, the premiere. 
No, right, JP, very important. When you arrive, say, I don't want to be around the front unless you want a free night's sleep. Actually, they've, they've, already, <laughs> put a, they've already put a proviso on that. They're having uh, renovations done, so there might be some excess noise. <laughs> Uh, but I wouldn't uh, think that. I don't think that's going to be at night time, though. You wouldn't expect it to be in a fright on Saturday morning either. No, there'd be, be excess noise anywhere at night with Wayne. But, <laughs> uh, <laughs> <laughs> I say blackout, uh, <laughs> and then then very quiet on the Saturday. Uh, it sounds like the UK needs to maybe look into making the creek deeper. Larry suggested. Yeah, and the bank's higher. Yeah, and the bank's higher. That, that's the problem we have here. The council does bugger all. And there's no um, legality, if you like, as to who... Liability. Li liability as, as to who is liable for actually cleaning the burns out. You know, clean, cleaning the streams out. Yep. Um, whether it's the farm or whether it's the council or whatever. Yeah. Leona says what Wayne does in his hotel room is his business. I don't know, though, Le Leona. When I thought I heard a band saw the time I was there before, I'm beginning to wonder <laughs> if that's maybe not true. <laughs> <laughs> I could have sworn I had a Dremel or something too. I don't know what he was up to. I don't, about the, the time I spent at the Hilton last year, about the, um, the main thing I did in the, the hotel room was pop back there to uh, fill my water bottle up with red wine and go back to the bar again. Oh, what a guy. That's <laughs> that's, that's an admirable approach. <laughs> hip flask. I'm gonna, I, 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 I need to get. I, I need to get my, look out my hip flask then, if that's the kind I'm, of game I'm you're not, playing. I'm not bothering with the hip flask. I'm taking two water bottles. One's oh. going to have red wine. Um, one's going to have red wine, and the other one's going to have us back in. Leona suggesting that wasn't a Dremel, but. <laughs> 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 oh, Andy's starting to roll off one side of the camera. Oh, there he is. Whoop, there it is. Oh, um, Steve from SK Crafts is coming up to Perfect. Queens as well awesome. on the oh, Saturday. Nice. Awesome. Awesome. You bring up a couple of cameras. Yeah, I'll bring, uh, I'll bring my we're cameras. So we're all going to have a go at this five-foot bull then, are we? I guess so. Is that, is, that what Glenn, is that what Glenn's cooking? Is, is he really going to have his old cut do the five foot bowl on I the BB sticks? I, I don't, well, that's what he said, but he had had a few that night. Yes, he had indeed. He had one or two. Uh, he has got, I know he's got a load of fairly freshly cut ash, but I don't know how, how big it is. Well, we'll find, we'll find out the hard way. Yeah, it's, it's going to be really funny when all four of it, all, yeah, all four of us turn up at his front door, and all of a sudden he's like, "What are you doing here?" <laughs> <laughs> as long as as long as we get to go out for an English, I don't mind. You go out for an English. <laughs> I want to go out for an English. I, I don't want to go out for an. I don't want to go for a curry or something. Like that. I want to go out for an English. No, no Asian food, thank you. Plenty of that at home. I want to, I want to have a, I want to have a, a gammon steak or a, or fish and chips. Fish and chips were quite nice at that place last time. It's funny, Jane said, Jane commented on uh, when you put that on, on Green's uh, post. Uh huh. I thought he's kidding. You can't not like curry. He eats bloody Asian food every night. Oh, that's the point, though. It's a case of I do. So, <laughs> so when I've got the chance to go out, kind of thing, we're not having any of that. No, 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 no. We've got to go. We've got to go out and have. We want to go out and have a steak or a, or fish and chips or, or something resoundingly British. Even his egg and chips are spicy. Yeah, Mr. Ruben. Uh, Mr. Ruben's asking, uh, is that five foot in diameter or length? That would be five foot in diameter. Well, that's what she said. Yeah, that's what she said. It right. would be five foot in diameter. Um, turned on the the VB thirty six, 
but I'm, I, I really don't know if Glenn has got a um, the piece of this ash, which is five foot in diameter. We'll have yeah, to wait until we get there. Get another bit door and the VB6. <laughs> That's what we've got it done. <laughs> There's going to be a platter out this door. This oak door I've managed to huckle off the house and away here. <laughs> yeah. Yes, Larry, bangers and mash. That sort of stuff. Yeah. Mrs. 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 Kirkwood cooks some tremendously awesome food. But when the chance to have some the chance to have something resoundingly British or, or, or Western arises, I'm all about it. Unless we're in the States, in which case it has to be steak or or barbecue, spicy wings, and it has to be in the pub while watching some game. <laughs> of some of some sport that makes no sense to me. Almost every sport, then. No, 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 no. My, 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 one of my enduring memories of when we lived in the US was going to to some baseball games, some major league baseball games, and I felt like I was in one of those fruit machines kind of thing with what was going on. I just had no yeah. no, clue, no clue what was going on. Yeah. No. I remember watching. I remember watching uh, one of the NFL games. I forget who it was. It was a couple of years ago, and someone basically. I was on a hangout, and someone pointed their uh, camera at the TV, so I could watch it. And they were trying to explain the rules to me, and I started understanding it, but I forgot it now. Yeah, it's basically rounders. That's what I think. Out in the chat, we've got some interesting stuff. We've got. I can go half that eighty centimeters with a bed extension, but five foot is crazy. Hugh, uh, Huey says, snake and pygmy pie. <laughs> um, yeah, the go. answer to Leona's question, I think that's going to be around, I think it'll be around about 40 inch diameter you can turn with the, with the outboard on yours, Leona. Stace reckon she's hungry now. Uh, Emmett's in the chat. Hi, Emmett. Um, who have we got? No, in fact, I'll, I'll come back to the owner on that one. Could be, uh, Dead Rise Woodcrafts NFL is the best, Jamie. NFL is, is rugby with padding, hand egg, hand egg, hand egg. It's not football. The hints and then the hints, the hints, the hints there. It's not soccer, they wear boots. That's football. And what you guys do is rugby with helmets. <coughs> Right, I'm revising that, Leona. I think it'll be around about 24, 25 inch diameter with the outboard on. I'll have to double check. Mr. Rubin says, I have a Stratos FU-230. Is that the same as my Wolves? Yes. Because the one above the 230 is the XL. Uh, yeah, yeah, so Leona, if you had a standalone tool rest, realistically, you could go down to the floor the same as the VB does. Um, it has got a two horsepower motor, your lathe. Um, whether that would be enough power or torque, I'm not too sure. Mm -hmm. But I had it first, says Ruben. I think I was to yours, uh, JP. Oh, okay. This Mike of a Stratos. This Mike has a Stratos. Yeah, he's, yeah. Got, he, he's got the um, the two thirty as well. Should go to he a dentist. Should he? He should go he to a dentist. He sold his axments to. He sold his axements to to um, Russell Clark. Mm-hmm. So it says about the, the Stratos FU-230, it's got an 18-inch swing with a 30-inch swing with bed extension kit. Yeah. Whereas the Axminster that the owner's got, which is the same as mine, that's got a 16-inch swing. So I think with the, um, with, the, with the outboard 
on there, I think it'll be around about 24, 25 inch swing it'll have. Yeah. <clears throat> what bet are you changing to now, Andy? The roundy one. The round one up. Um, so we have Odia Steve with a dehumidifier work better. Oh, wait, backing up a bit. Uh, my big lathe is soaked at the moment. I have heaters trying to dry it out. Fingers crossed I can save it. Um, Axe Master was one of the smaller. Um, Leona says, I was going to back off Russell that time he was selling it. Uh, Dave McLaren says, I have a record pair of CL4 with the bowl turning attachment. Um, Wayne of the Big Feet, he's high Wayne. Um, oh dear Steve, would a dehumidifier work better though? Um, Mr. Ribbon says, I didn't buy the bed extension, but I, did, I do want to make larger platter for the for the center of our square table. Oh no, Steve, hope it works out, um, says Leona. Um, Mr. Uh, that's a bonus, just, Steve. Yep. Um, just learning to make regular bowls first, says Ruben. Uh, Mike, Midnight Joker's in the chat. X-Minister 1628, says Leona. Yeah, very yeah, pretty. that's that's the one that uh, Leona and I have got. Yeah, very pretty lathe. Um, and folks are saying hello to Mike. Hi, Mike. Hello, Mike. Uh, Don't forget to hit that thumbs up, everybody. There's 21 people watching and only 11 thumbs up. Yeah, Steve just said the roof was ripped off, ripped off his shed. So basically everything um, got into the shed. Larry's asking Andy uh, when you did the layout for the the ribbon that goes all the way around. Did you measure it, or are you doing it by eye? In other words, how did you keep it even all the way around the piece? Let Andy ask that when he uh, when he comes back in the chat. I let him answer that. I should say. Tell you the truth, it sounds like Steve got hit a hell of a lot worse than I did. At the rift off the workshop. There was a hell of a lot of people got hit a hell of a lot worse than I did. Sly goes on the Atlantic coast, though, more or less. I mean, it must have come slamming in. Uh, it is, busy. I mean, and, and Steve is right on the coast. Yeah. I mean, it comes hurtling in straight off the North Atlantic. So, yeah. I know. Um, I know. Sophie's make it so. Grandparents' house was underwater. Yeah, luckily enough, um, Soph got them up to up to their place. Yeah, that's. I mean, I went. I've been to Sophie's house, and yeah, that's up uh, so many really steep hills. So yeah, 
and that was that was lucky. But even I mean, even so, the whole the whole town is is obviously suffering. You know. Yeah. Uh, Mr. Rubens asking Andy, does that stuff stink? He's done carving on deer antler, and it was almost unbearable. So people are asking Steve about insurance and stuff. Um, in the UK, um, insurance companies don't have an option. They have to insure you, if you even if you're in a, a flood risk area. Uh, but realistically, I think like um, Leona said there, the insurance excess, it really all depends on how bad the damage is as to whether you want to claim because the excess can be... Um, quite big plus if you do claim um on flood insurance the premiums get hiked something rotten <coughs> makes me feel as a storm damage we had is is, some, is almost worth no mentioning we lost a i mean we we, we <coughs> did nothing compared to you guys we just had a bit of plastic blown off the house that was all i, I lost an inflatable chair oh my life well that would be in france but he was on it, it but jamie was on it at the time <laughs> you know what i mean is he flew over cali <laughs> I was trying to do an impression of Mary Poppins and Dick Van Dyke. Go on then. I said I was trying to, and I failed, so I'm not going to try again. Ah. Those are real sharks. Oh, so motor cleaning service have big ovens, uh, Steve. I don't think it would cost too much to make sure the motors are dry before you run them. Put the roof back on would help, I think. How have you got on, Steve? Have you put a tarpaulin or something over, or you know, what's uh, have you how have you secured the area, or have you just emptied it and left it to the weather? Hi, free living. Oh, yeah. I've lost track of the live on YouTube. Where is it? Yeah, Mike Nash had a um, a nasty his workshop basically burned down. So Taylor's Murfield are doing a an auction of a piece of um, Australian fur. Um, a raffle, I should say, not an auction. Is it a, yeah, a raffle uh, for a piece of Australian burr and proceeds are going to to Mike to help him get his his workshop up and running again. Wow. Nice. Do you know when it ends? I am um, off the top of my head, GP. I don't know. Oh God. Uh, it's it, I it's 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 two pound a ticket for the for the raffle. Yeah, you're right there, Steve. Uh, he said at the end of the day, it's only replaceable and repairable tools. There are people who have lost their houses, businesses, and life belongings. Too true, sunshine. Absolutely. Oh, David McLaren, good turning and grass is uh, 17th, 8 o'clock. I'll say it's today then. Hello. Jeff Christie is just. Jeff Christie has just put on the wind was bad where I live. It did twenty thousand pounds worth of improvements. <laughs> <laughs> I 
That's pretty good going. Oh, good lord. There's Andy. Hello, Andy. Hello. <laughs> How are you, sir? That's looking very nice. Yeah, it's getting there. It's getting there. Um, there was a couple of questions. I thought I'd stop. Now I've hog done the most hogging out. The rest of it's kind of fancy little detail-y bits. So um, before I start on that sort of stuff, I just there was a couple of questions. I forget who they were. I was listening, but... We're asking about um, the smell, sir. Whether or not I've seen comparison. So somebody was carving deer antlers and say they smell really bad. They were speculating. Oh, yeah, no, they, they were speculating that this may smell pretty bad. Um, it smells like plastic dust, resin. Not. It's it's not a bad smell. I don't mind that smell, but it's not a smell that you'd want to be smelling without wearing a mask. The, the other question, Andy, the other question was about the uh, the ribboned part in the, the middle of the piece on whether you mark that out or you're just doing it freehand. I didn't measure it out, no. But I did, it was, obviously I drew it out first, but i not one for measuring. Um, I know what I want it to look like, so it just kind of, if I don't, if it doesn't match all the way round, then I'll rub it off and I'll do it again. But I'm, I, I will, will never get a tape measure out and measure it out. That just takes right. too much effort. Um, so yes, I guess I do it by eye. If that's what you're asking. Um, who's how? Who's uh, workshop burnt? I missed that bit. Uh, oh, it's, it's, it's a guy. It's a guy called Mike Nash. Yeah. Uh, his workshop burned down, I think it was last week, um, at some point. And Taylor's Murfield are uh, holding a raffle for a piece of uh, Australian burr, £2 a ticket. Um, oh, right. I, I think the raffle closes next Friday, or Friday coming, at 8 o'clock. Uh. Um, so I think if you go on to the... I'm sure they'll have details on the Taylor's Murfield website about that. <laughs> you can't see JP right now, but I could see him, and that was quite funny. Um, could you, one of you post the link in the chat so others can... Uh, I will that's a good a thing. Is he in the UK or is he in America? Or? Yeah, Terrence Murphy. He's, he's, uh, he's in the he UK. Made, he made I'm sure Mike, Mike, Mike Nash is in the so, UK. Sorry. Whereabouts is he? He's down your way. He's what? I think he's down your way. Okay. We'll have to find out where he is. I'm Terrence Murphy, anyway. I'm not, I'm not entirely sure. I could be thinking of somebody else. Um and yes, Huey, my my chat's a bit behind. I've just seen your message. Yeah, I can imagine the dust would wreak havoc with your lungs if you don't wear a mask. Most definitely. Um, the acrylic's not so bad. You can get away with uh, the acry acrylic with just like a dust mask, like a normal throwaway dust mask, but. With the polyester, which this is, the dust on this is so fine, it's like it, it's finer than um, sand. It's, it's just so fine. Just stays in the air as well. That's why I got the hoover out on that time. Um, I'm going to start doing that more often, I think. But lesson learnt. Um, cool. Right, I'll get, I'll, uh, get cracking, change the bit, and then get cracking again. I'll, I'll shut up. Any more questions? Let me know. I've got one. Oh, he's not going to talk to me. Yeah, go on. See the the little detail you've got going on here, and you're going to carve that out. Um, yeah. Are uh, you going to retain the outside of it, or I mean, what's the? How's the detail going to emerge? Because those lines <laughs> look very, very fine. Yes, they are. Um, they're going to be raised. Are they? Ooh. Yes, they are. 
Okay, I shall sit back and watch and leave the master to do his magic. Um, now it is super super fine. So, okay, so like some sort of some sort of spells in order to like expel Edremolus or something like that, right? Uh, I think I'll be going <laughs> to the super sharpy pointy bit for this one. Uh, oh, um, purely because uh, it needs to be more of a line around it to get so I can at least see okay. the bit that I can hog out, if that makes sense. Cool. All right. Go for it. Let's see if the magic could work. Right. I don't know if any of you guys follow 38 Degrees, um, which is a, a website dedicated to dealing with Various various injustices and campaigns that need to be taken seriously. Um, they're running a signature campaign um, to bring in, to try and bring in something called Carolyn's Law, which would make it a, a criminal offence similar to corporate manslaughter if the British media knowingly and relentlessly bully a person into taking their own life. Um, I would encourage you guys. Um, I would encourage you guys to to, to look it up. And like your conscious legion, whichever way you want to go. They're looking for 700,000 signatures to get this taken seriously by the relevant authorities. Go and have a read, see if it aligns with your view. And if it's uh, if it's in a good place for you, sign up. Otherwise, it's worth, yeah, I think it's just worthwhile having a read and see what you think. Um, Steve Twydell says, in answer to your question, Dale, I've covered the roof of the tarp for now, but any more wind will make... A job out of that fast. It's kind of pointless exercise at this stage until the better weather. Oh, I understand. We had a we had a leak in the guest room last year, and the guy came around and says, "Oh, I could put a tarp on it. And, you know, how long, what good's that going to do?" He says, "No, not a huge amount. It'll stop it getting really worse." Okay. Um, Bigfoot says, "Yes, David. I keep meaning to pop over. It's around forty minute drive from here." David McLaren says, "From Wittemar." Have you got a link for deal? Yes, sir. I'll drop it into. It's actually if you're if your friends are on Facebook, um, you can look there. If you've dropped into the, the chat, the thing is, deal, is it not true deal with corporate manslaughter that um, there are no prison sentences, and I think the maximum fine is half a million. Yeah, it's one of those things. though, the the idea here is the uh, they get away with with without any any any. How can I put it? Uh, any comeback uh, at all? Yeah, yeah. I'm so with you. something, something is better than nothing. I think is the the, the approach that Thirty Eight Degrees are trying to sponsor. And I must confess, uh, uh, my my moral conscience is kind of leaning towards the signing the signature for putting a signature on this thing. Yeah. Um, uh, you know, there's there's a the chap from Jeremy Kyle show, and there's you know many many others who have been led down very dark avenues. Um, that would be Jeremy Kyle then. Yeah, among others. <laughs> <laughs> among others. Um, among others. He's a, he's a, it's an interesting place. But if you're my friend of mine on uh, Facebook, go and have a look. I've posted the link in there rather than dropping something to Andy's piece. Turnings by Turners in the house. I'm watching. I don't know about you guys. Talk amongst yourselves. I'm watching. <laughs> I'm watching Andy doing this. It's, it's that strange sort of moment where you're watching him carefully picking at it. Andy, when we catch up, mate, I've got a, I've got a whole line of of teeth on the bottom left hand side that are all ruined, kind of thing. Maybe you can sort out a few wonky <laughs> wonky, wonky felons <laughs> on the cheap, mate. <laughs> Well, I did post a, a GoFundMe link over on uh, YouTube, but I don't know if it actually went through. Well, I've, I've posted it on YouTube as well, so I um, I don't know if it's gone through either. Hi, Jay. Unless this is really delayed. How was your day? <laughs> yeah. 
Evening, Jay. Or oh, morning. Whichever. Evening. Morning, I think, for Jay. Very morning, yeah. in fact, I suspect. This is going to be one of those moments, like when I know when I'm doing a picture. In this case, so you're doing you're doing the cut, and it makes no sense, and then you pop out a couple of bits, and you go, "Yeah, all right, that makes complete sense now." I'm looking for suggestions for Sunday. Anyone got any? Anyone get any suggestions? I've got a couple of fallback ones kind of stacked up, but are, everyone's doing Sonic, so I'm not going to bother for a, for a while. <laughs> you know. Who's battering the keyboard with some some violence? That's me. It, for some reason, I've, I've put this link in, and it's not letting me bloody upload it. I think it's because we haven't got a wrench. Or it's not showing any, any of us out of him wrenches. No, I've got yeah. a wrench. It's well, not, it's it's not showing it. YouTube. It's, it's not showing YouTube I've got a wrench. Push back from the prisoner. Hmm. Because it's not, it's not showing like any of your uh, right sank in the chat, Wayne. Hello, I've got I've got me wrench. Yeah, I see yours. I'll just do a reload. Hecklo, is what it's yeah, I see, I see, I see that. Hecklo, hecklo. It's like a minion. Hecklo. Oh, yeah, I said that. Well, there's an idea, a minion. I'm not going to do Minion. I'm going to do... Ah, I think I know. I don't really want to do another four or five hour one because, you know, we've got a, we've got a couple... Of, we've got a couple stacked up part of the Alien series that we're doing kind of thing. So I'll maybe leave it a week or two before I do that. But, yeah, something quick and fun, I think. Hey, hello. Oh, Moomins. There we go. Could do Moomins. I've got a couple of Moomins patterns cut. We're ready to go. How do you feel about Moomin's JP? Who? Ryo, that's kind of... Yeah, exactly, who? <laughs> yeah, there we go. What? Moomin's it is then. There we go, we're doing Moomin's on Sunday, folks. And that's entirely brought around by the fact I went hecklow kind of thing. Just reminded me of someone from that part of the world. You talking about them little uh, like hippopotamus things? Yep. Yep. Eva might like them. Find out. Do I tell you where? I tell you what they remind me of. Do you remember that uh, that song? Let me see that dong 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 song. You know, that hippo dancing. Do you remember seeing that video? Do you ever remember seeing that video? No, I don't think so. There was a video of a purple hippo in a thong cartoon going around dancing to that song. The thong song, says Le Leona. No, this is yeah, lost it. on me. Yeah. This is lost yeah, on me. We own the loads I'm talking about. Maybe I should do a cartoonized sigh and just do, you know what I mean, Gangnam style. Gangnam style, yeah, sigh. A little little cartoon Gangnam style. Oh, I don't know. I need to have a look at him again. I don't know how. I don't know how far I could take him in like a baby Gangnam style. Well, I've just signed up to that. What you call it? I need just under a hundred thousand left now. Yeah. Just stock for removal. No forging or anything. The thong song. I did see it, Mike. Oh, um, I've lost track of the chat now. It's kind of... I'll get it for you. They'd know what you're on about if you sang it in tune, JP. Yeah, JP, let's have it in tune. I can't sing that song in tune. Come on, JP. Come on, JP. Is I Glenn can't Negret? sing that song. Glenn, Glenn Negret's in. Hi, Glenn. Glenn Negret. Have you got that massive blank yet, Glenn?
keyboard's getting assaulted again. <laughs> what Glenn's Glenn, Glenn's Glenn Glenn may not have had as Glenn, Glenn, Glenn may not have had as much tea as he had the other night. Um, Dale for Sunday, you could show some kind of you know what I've got three Jaffa cake scroll saw designs waiting to go, Steve. And every single time I look at them and go, I cannot do this. I cannot do this. This is this is this is not this is not something I can bring myself to actually do. That would be taking you're taking it too far. You're taking it too far. But watch you out. One of these odd days. One of these one of these odd days. Yes, there. Yeah, JP could do it. One of these odd days I'll I'll definitely do that. Uh, but yeah, yeah. Definitely some Jaffa Jaffa, Jaffa Cakes box is box I did um uh, a couple of weeks back. A couple of weeks back. But it was actually between Christmas and New Year. That was your fault, JP, if you remember. Right. Yeah. Um, the, the link for the Mike Nash fundraiser, for some reason, I couldn't upload it on YouTube uh, onto this. Check. So I've, I've uploaded it onto my uh, Facebook, We in the Wood Turner page, if anybody wants to go across and have a look. The, uh, I was talking about the five foot um, bulb blank glint. Yes, Glyn. Everybody's wanting to have a go on the five foot bulb blank. Is it actually a door? No, it'll not be a door. It's <laughs> it, first, he took Joe's kitchen, now he's going to take her table. <laughs> <laughs> Do you know? Do you know? I don't. I mean, I, what do, what do they call the 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 thing when the the sumo wrestlers wear? You know that belt and you know that leather contrivance. Oh, well, the big f off thong. Yeah, but it's got a specific name. It's got a specific name. Uh, is that not a is that is that is that not a bully hoodie? I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna do a cause. I'm gonna Google this. There we are. Glynn's just said it's a slice from a massive ash tree. Are we still talking about the thong or the or the or the bowl blank? No, the thong. no. We're, we're talking about the bowl blank. Jamie, right. don't bother bringing the carbides. I'm going to show you how to use a bowl gouge. I'd love, to, I'd love that. I'd love it if you would. I certainly will. Uh, and I'll give you um, another lesson when I come down to your place in June. Good. It's called a mawashi, a kisho mawashi. Basically, oh, that's, that's what the, it, dear. Like, I, I knew it was that. I just couldn't remember that's what, the word. That's what the hippo's wearing. <laughs> Not a thong. <laughs> <laughs> A Makikoga Mawashi. No, that would be a that would be a tumble dryer, mate. All oh, right. <laughs> Try the Chinese tumble dryer. <laughs> Wait till you see my ball gouges. Oh lord. That's what she said. <laughs> yes. As the actress said to the bishop. Um, I bet you say that to all the girls, Glenn. <laughs> oh yeah. no, Joe! I mean, the, the thing, the thing is with Glenn. I mean, the biggest ball gouge he's got is three quarters of an inch. Three quarters of an inch. That tells you something. <laughs> he probably uses a shovel <laughs> just to match his life. Never failed me yet. Uh, well, to tell you the truth, I've seen St I've seen Steve Jones. Use the shovel as a skew. Yeah, what was it? Uh, what's, I forgot, what's his name? Zombie Woodturner. He made one of his own. Zed. And, yeah. Yeah, Zed. I think he made it out of a, a fork of a digger or something like that, I think he said. That thing is massive. That's his... It was a uh, in fact, I, I, think the, I think the first one of his broke, so he made another one. That's the big scraper that he uses all the time. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Oh, I couldn't believe the size of it. And that's what she said. 
Mm -hmm. But she was giggling at the time, so we don't. I wouldn't hold her up. <laughs> I've got a spoon handle that Steve Jones turned a finial with. I feel that says that's, that's that, I, I mean I, I don't know for sure. I must apologize. That has the ring of you know Chuck Norris would would turn a finial using a spoon. You know, has that kind of ring to it? Right, Chuck Norris would between, do his between the two, when you come to Chuck Norris and Steve Jones, I'm sorry, but Chuck Norris is eating dust. <laughs> <laughs> Steve Jones is the man when it comes to bloody skill work. Dean McLaren says, oh, it's this case of, uh, I love the tree frog he was doing today. Um, I've lost track of this. Good lord! Right. So, um, sneaks older works off him. I love it because he's uh, you hear. Yes, you. I bought one of sneaks older works. Never feel me yet. Such a charm. If someone wants to know what I'm giggling at, um, I love the tree frog he was doing today. Meaning our Clive. Um, last night, Laura. I have to watch it. Watch as well as Ella is eleven and starting to understand everything. That's all. Like, yeah, my son's eleven. I'm afraid to ask what he knows. Chuck Norris doesn't eat dust. Dust eats Chuck Norris. Ooh. 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 Oh, so I've read that wrong. I've read that. I'm sorry. I read that wrong. Chuck Norris doesn't. Chuck Norris doesn't eat dust. Dust eats. Yeah, that's, that's right. Yeah. Steve Jones is Chuck Norris in disguise. <laughs> <laughs> I challenge. Yeah. Oh. Look at this. Oh, Chuck Norris doesn't do push ups. The earth pushes away. God said, let there be light. Chuck Norris answered, say please. <laughs> My word. I can't think of any Chuck Norris jokes. Actually, thinking about it, I can't think of any Chuck Norris movies. To be fair. Yeah, Chuck, Chuck Norris said, I can use a skew. Steve Jones said, yeah, right. Oh, yeah. yeah, yeah. Chuck Norris built the hospital he was built in. For um, shall I try and post this in the post the Taylor's Murfield thing in in the chat if I can find it? The yeah. raffle, see if you were a bit looking at it. I right. did post something to you on that's what I'm trying history. to do. There we go. Let me see if I can get this to work. Should just go. You ready, people? Let's see if this works. Yeah, we're coming up, Glenn. Yes, sir. Interesting. There's too many characters, guys. That's why I won't post. Yes, Glenn, the boat coming up. Hopefully, they will be up on Friday evening at some point. Yes, sir. We shall be uh, in and around the lovely Scarborough getting into mischievousness. So I, uh, I, I had the same problem with that with GoFundMe link, Dale. But if you go to uh, click share and then go to um, copy link. Right? Would you, can, can I remind you, young man, who you're talking to? Yeah. Sorry, <laughs> yeah. did the chat, mate. <laughs> you think I wouldn't have to remind you? <laughs> <laughs> in the chat, my friends. In the chat, um, yeah. First thing I do, when, uh, there must be an option here to make a smaller version of this. Where is it? Where, where is it? What can I find? It must be. I'm missing something. Surely they wouldn't have done that under normal circumstances. You know. Yeah, there we go. So, in the chat, folks, is the GoFundMe for Mike Nass's workshop. Um, go and have a go and have a look. Um, um, and please do something to help a fellow maker. Yeah. I'm just looking just now. 
He if was. Anybody's them. thinking about, if anybody's thinking about helping me after the floods, I need at least two new leads. Um, what else? Uh, load, loads of new gouges. Uh, what else? Wood. I, oh well, I, yeah, I could do with some wood as well. A couple of trees would do. Uh, other than that, other than that, I'm fine. By the way. <laughs> You, all your sand, all your sandpaper floated away, so you could do new stock off of that. Oh yeah, need to need loads and loads of uh, abrasives as well, and colour and stuff, and uh, uh, stuff. Don't need any resin. Um, yeah. Well, other you, than that, other than that, I'm fine. And well, unless they can help, unless can get you something to dry it out like a toaster oven or something like that. <laughs> that was a joke, by the way, guys. I know. <laughs> so I take it you're going to be turning a lot of green wood for the time being. Yeah, wet sanding. <laughs> <laughs> oh dear. Got any wet wood? I know a guy. <laughs> <laughs> if you put it in the spin cycle, then you've got to worry. I did, did, did. Got up on the whole when was I can't even remember now. Anyway, the following morning, got up to start doing doing the, the clean up. God, you know, once the water gets in, I was just say, oh bollocks, I'm going to bed. So I did. Um, so the following morning, uh, got up and had a look around everything. <laughs> I had to go out into the road and take all my uh, wood that was in the drive back into the drive. <laughs> Cars were swerving around the wood in the road. <laughs> Thank you very much, Wayne. No, that was a um, a bit of a joking thing I was saying there about stuff I need. That's why his workshop didn't float away, Glenn, because the VB was keeping it down. No, I'm lucky in that respect. Uh, my workshop is um, block built. It's it's not a, a wooden shed. It is a block built with a, a concrete floor, so it doesn't tend to go anywhere. It was built as a garage. The only time it had a car in there was when the uh, foundations in concrete were put, put down before the walls were put up. <laughs> that is the one and only time we'd had a car in there. Andy, could you show us where you're at with that? I mean, we're kind of, you know, it shows, shows the detail a little bit. Uh, in answer to what Wayne was saying there about the abrasives, Wayne, I'll uh, I'll DM you on that one. Is Andy frozen? Don't think so. I think he's going to try and get back to talk up, maybe. I don't know. I don't know. It has been pretty cold. I don't know if he's got the heating on or not. No, he's, he's unmuting himself. <laughs> oh, boom. Oh, boom. <laughs> he's here can all week. Tell me? You, can you hear me? Yeah, we can. Yeah, can hear you. That's weird because I've got my hand across the camera and you can't see it. Yeah, we can see you. We can see you. It's frozen up, mate. Oh, change, back to, change, change back to change back to change back to be the There he is. There we go. Is that by magic? Right, let's try that again. No, it cannot be. <laughs> hey. there, we there we go. go. Right, sorry, what were you saying? Uh, about the detail, sir, it was, it was quite hard to see from this distance. Here we 
Yeah. Yeah, I can see what you meant now. The, the fine lines being just carefully cut out. Oh. Yeah. yeah. Bye, Joy. Drive safe. Take it easy. Is that... Like Joy is... Closer? Is that better? Yeah. You can see... You can really That's see the detail. really cool, Andy. Nice. Yeah, getting there. It's... Uh, it's this is really hard work, I'll be honest. I'll tell you what. Concentration is insane. I'll send you... I'll send you a link to... Marty's matchbox makeovers and he dips plastics and so and, and this sort of stuff into pledge floor polish. He okay. doesn't do any polishing, he just dips it. Um and it comes out with a it comes out it fills in all the cracks that you know I mean it, it, it just basically lets it run off and what you wind up with is a really polished looking piece of plastic or you know, I mean, or, or, or synthetic material. I'll send the link to him, mate. Don't, I mean, don't do it until you, you see what he does. But he literally just, you know, like scratched plastic windscreens on little cars. Yeah. You know, so he dips them and then they come out without the scratches on them. No way. Have a look. You know, I mean, have a look. It might be interesting from a, a, a possible finishing process. Yeah, dude, I, I, I guess mean, that'll kind of be like when people get they scratch up resin and they just pour a fresh layer of resin over the top. Yeah, it should, it should be the, it's the same it'll be the same idea, JP. I don't know what it is that's in the pledge floor stuff that he uses, but he, you know, he takes like the little you know it's like the little toy toy car, you know, yeah, yeah, yeah. You can imagine the scratches and the crap that kids do to them. So he he dips it and lifts it out and lets it run dry and it it, it basically shines it up straight away and fit Fills in the crowd. I guess you know, like a bit of a, uh, a bit like you know, like um, um, well, it is. It's exactly what it is. It's you know, polish basically. Yeah. You know? Yeah. yeah, yeah. Well, I mean. that, uh, have a look. Have a look at. I'll send you one of the videos he does it, and so you can see what he's doing. Hmm. It might be worth trying in a wee sample piece if you can. I mean, there must well, have some in your place. That, that, yeah. Oh yeah. I've got plenty of bits that I could chuck in there. What? Yeah. I, what I have used before is a certain unmentionable um, finishing polish, which will be replaced at Maker Central. Just saying. Hi, uh, uh, No, no, no! You can't be having any of that. Transatlantic. Yeah, Enrique's in the house. Is it only because I'm running out? <laughs> I'm, there's not. Uh, I've used quite a lot of it. I'll be honest. Um, it, <laughs> essentially, it's not. It's like. Um, any, I, th I would imagine any kind of paste wax type stuff would work to bring the, up a shine. Yeah. Um, but the, the, the thing about this is, is he dips it in it because it's liquid. Yeah. Well, it, I could even, I, I have used WD 40, Ooh. and that has the exact same effect. But that as, would never really dry properly, right? It does leave like a. a kind of greasy film but if you rub that off the greasy no, film that's what she said <laughs> then it's it it leaves it nice and like example my mm. the dragon that I did the um the dark dragon the mm. brown one mm. um that I used WD40 on that wiped it off and I haven't touched it since and it looks fine but what I was thinking about is those ladies that you're now in charge of so to speak Probably use something awful like this stuff. Oh yes. Well, there's a point. I just take. Yeah, yeah. I'm with you. You know, I'd probably use something like this to make those floors look lovely and robust. And it's clearly, you know, clearly there's there's quite a lot of it sloshing around. So I'll send you um, a link. See what you think. They it don't works. go much for polishing. I'll be honest. It's more of like uh, cleaning. <laughs> yeah. um, it's there's a, main, there's a mainly bleach. <laughs> yeah. Mainly bleach, slopping the bleach down. <laughs> well, to be and honest, the, the if children you worked in the school, you would know why Andy, they use bleach. Yeah. Andy, on, on that note, with the, the, the cleaners and stuff, mm. um, I worked with a, a, a school cleaner um, oh, a hell of a lot of years ago. But when the school was closed for summer, the cleaners used to go in and it was deep all clean, the floors, yeah. and they used to go in and deep clean and polish all the floors. Yeah. So maybe they, they do that type of thing, so they might still have the polish. That would be mainly for parquet floors or like uh, hardwood like floors. 
Um, yeah. Tiled floors or the plastic. Oh, right. Okay. I'm with you. I'm with the you. plastic crap that, that they use now, like lino type stuff, you, were, you wouldn't want to polish that because you, well, you'd fly across the floor. Um, yeah. It's, it's, it's almost like a non slip type surface, like a, almost like a, well, when you go into a, um, sport, a leisure center and you go swimming or whatever, it's a similar type of flooring they have in the changing room everywhere. Yeah. Because okay. if you drop anything on it, it's, it's just wiped clean. So there's a bad chat out there and, uh, Leona's obviously thinking about a new workshop. He's talking about roofs. Leona, you could buy, um, roof trusses. Right. Um, you could buy That's roof right. trusses um, out there and uh, uh, go online, find roof trusses for the area you want to cover. They're not expensive. Like I mean, we did. We bought for both of the, the, the back bits of this house and the back bits in this house are huge. Um, um, it cost us £800, and that was for all of the roof trusses and all the material to pull it together. And all you had to do was drop the boards on it. Um, the last few roofs I've built We've had no leaks on any of them except the flat ones. The flat ones are a bit challenging, so I would I would suggest if you can't do a proper pitched roof, then then at least raise one side of that flat roof so it's got a natural runoff. That would be the limited experience I've had so far with doing roofing. It's only about six of them, um, but that one was a big deal. That was a, a life lesson there. I'm <laughs> oh, sorry, Dale. What's that? Jimmy, Jimmy just sent me a photograph. <laughs> Did he? <laughs> yeah. Hey. <laughs> oh, Come on, off, JP. He, he's off Come away on, and giggling. <laughs> what's he done? Oh, what's he done? What's he up to? Wet wood. I know a guy. <laughs> Very good. Very good. That's definitely got to be posted so everyone can see that. Yeah, I raise out of the front and the slopes down and into the field behind the house. Yeah, it's definitely the way to do it. It makes the runoff is the, that natural runoff stops it sitting on it. We like I said, we only had one. We only had one that ever went, um, 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 and we changed the pitch on it. Um, then we changed the pitch on it. We never had it back. Never had a problem. And of course, the uh, other thing we did was use the EPDM to cover it, which was just genius. Uh, Glenn said SK Crafts is probably your man for roofs. Yep, yeah, I'd agree with that. Actually, actually, I might have a word with Steve about my roof, actually. Yep, sounds like a plan. Hmm. Hmm. Well, I'll be right back, all right? I need to, uh, well, yeah. You need somewhere I will go. <laughs> Are you going to the little boy's room, JP? Yeah, go go and drain the main vein, in it. You know, you go going, going. Which one are you going to? You going to the chaps one in the workshop? Yes. <laughs> that should kind of narrow it down as to what I'm doing. Yes, the little chaps one. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Be right All right. Back. All gone quiet, said Rebob. I'm still here. Dave McLaren says, Greatly can peace, Andy. Did I see Debbie come into the chat? Hi, Debbie. Evening, Debbie. Didn't see you come in there. I think we're all too busy talking. Talk, talk, talk. Oh, Glyn's drinking. How unusual. What are you drinking tonight, Glyn the Grit? Wayne of the Big Feet, he says, just watch what roof material you use so that you don't get condensation dripping off onto the tools, Leona. It's a very good point. Yeah, my solution would be at least. Is he really? Good Lord. Yeah. Good Lord. 
Is it Bailey's and a is it Bailey's and a and a glass floating in a glass of sherry? Um, um, no, no, it's not a glass of sherry. It's vodka. The Bailey's floating in a glass of vodka. Is it called a brain damage or something like? Because it looks like a. I have um, no idea. It's a kind of cocktail thing you see some folk doing. All right, David, I'm on. I'm on me usual. I've got the, I've got the red on the golden night. I was on. I, I'm was on the Ben and Jerry's ice cream, just saying. Oh, Glenn's doing the half pint of Bailey's. No chance of condensation here in Ireland, Wayne. <laughs> <laughs> I love seeing a sense of humour. I really do. <laughs> he cracks me up sometimes. Uh, the the condensation is a good point, though. Anana skin, I think, was the way. I mean, we did, certainly in my workshop was Anana skin. The other trick, Leona, is get one of those 250, 450 watt panel heaters. Same thing as I've got, which means that the room never, do, so you can always have it slightly, always have it warm, so it's always like, you know, 10, 12, 14 degrees. It stops the condensation forming, and it's not using any more electricity than maybe a, an old style light bulb. Um, um, and it just comes down to, as I said to, you know, as I said, when I was putting mine in to, to, to my boss, um, i.e. the wife, I said, well, it's either the price of the tools winding up condensated and rusted or you know run this thing just to keep the place not not damp i think would be the phrase you I mean you cheat when you just dry the yeah. whole place out when you put the burner on <laughs> well, that's it. And the good thing about the wood burner is is that it's it's a dry heat yeah, yeah. i have got a um a space heater as well uh, a gas run space heater but that's a, a very moist heat that that puts out yeah that's that's why um, I went with a flat panel because it's just an electrical panel, you know. I mean, it's completely dry heat. It's just radiates off of it. In fact, you can paint yeah. it. But it's kind of paint it. Oh, he's back. Mm -hmm. Went away very long. Mm -hmm. I have an exposed sheet metal roof, and I have to keep my tools covered with plastic when I'm not there. Okay. Yep. Yeah. Now, yeah, Larry, I, I can see why that happens. Doesn't 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 Badger from Badger's Warehouse? Didn't he have this at uh, Badger's Warehouse? Badger's Workshop. Didn't he solve it by using expanding foam in the inside? I think he I think he put expanding foam in the inside and then an inner skin or something because he he made his roof out of um um you know old style corrugated iron, carved corrugated iron. That's going to cost a fortune. That is I'm sure it's corrugated iron. You mean Wrigley tin? Wrigley tin, yeah, yeah, totally Wrigley tin. I'm sure he made it a Wrigley tin because uh, he had problems with condensation round about his wood burner, burners flu. I right. Get, yeah, I'm sure he solved it. I'm sure he solved it that way. I, I, always, I, get, uh, I always protect all my tools with uh, machine wax. I'll get a, tub, a tin of it from Axman and stuff. And just rub that down on like, the laid bed and all that sort of stuff. Yeah, just, um, ma machine wax is good. Also, PTFE spray is good as well. That's a, a yeah. dry lubricant, so it's th that works as well. Yeah. Now, I know Glenn has a, a big thing about uh, WD-40. In fact, I think if it wasn't for Glenn, WD-40 would probably go out of business, telling the truth. Uh, but I did hear from one person uh, that um, WD-40, because of some of the chemicals in there, it actually attracts moisture or attracts water. Mm. Um, now, yeah. I don't know if that's a, a definite thing or, or not. It's supposed to be for cleaning. So, yeah, it's supposed to be for cleaning. I mean, the, the original concoction, you know, I mean, WD-40, was created to clean the sides of missiles, particularly the Atlas series of rockets. Um, back in the day, WD-40, that's what it was created for. So I'd be surprised if it, I mean, you could see, you could see, I mean, it's supposed to be more of a protector. But you can use it as a lubrication, but the problem with that is, is it tends to dislodge grits and stuff in the end, I mean, which is what it's for, I guess. It's for, you know, it's a penetrating fluid, but it's basically yeah. mineral oil. You know, at its core, it's basically mineral oil. All right, okay. Um, 
Um, because that's what because they're doing. Stainless steel is still playing stainless steel. You know? Um, water displacement. Lindsay and some of the water displacement. Yeah. Uh, we, yeah, water, yeah. It's supposed to make it, you know, it's, water should bubble on the surface of it. Yeah. Oh, hello. I know that uh, WD40 do do a, a silicon spray as well. Yep. Which I've actually used in colouring. Have you? What is an emollient? Yeah, it's to uh, produce the you know the the cells type thing. Mhm. Mm so you you get the it sort of displaces different. I'm using my fingers here to show you. Yeah, I, mean, I can see. I can see. I'm, I'm, I'm imagining it. I'm imagining it very well here. It's basically like you're changing the locally changing the surface tension and the and the, and the yeah. And the water. So you, you you get all these different cells and everything. Yeah, I could see that. I mean, that's basically well, like I say, it's an, at its core, it's basically a, a mineral oil, um, as I understood it. Um, Glenn, Glenn, I think Glenn says it, it does have that, and it's been, but it's good stuff. One of those great inventions that you know, like duct tape, you should have some. Even if you don't know what oh, you need it for, you should definitely have some. Oh, shop you know, shop dogs in it work shop dog works oh, in it. I'm particularly enjoying the Millennium Falcon shop dog. No, he said that as you Yes. <laughs> I'm just going to check. I went like that. Hold on a minute. Have I actually got the right guy? You know, Mark, I'm really liking yeah, this. Yeah, it's Mark. Yeah, 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 yeah I really Mark. like it. Yeah, I was going to check. I wasn't sure if it was Mark. I'm really sorry, Mark. But I'm liking the uh, Millennium Falcon. That's because that's Steve said sheepdog. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I'm sure I'm sure, I'm sure. Andy would enjoy the the biker, the, so like the, the scout trooper. Um, and embedded in the resin, and I'm sure oh, the, the he would enjoy. Absolutely brilliant. Yeah, and the the Falcon, I'm sure he would enjoy too. You know, if you haven't seen it, I mean, it's really good, Andy. You should have a look. Mark's uh, Mark's is really good. He's wiggling his finger. I think he's seen it. We should take that as a, as a, he's seen it. Wobbly, wiggly, wiggly for the thumb, eh? You know, it's either that or he's trying to get a lift into the house. I'm not sure. <laughs> he hasn't got a funny face on his phone. He doesn't have a funny thing. Yeah, he's not. It's not really working out, is it for him? No. Um, Chris Murray. Oh, I see young. I see this uh, young. Uh, uh, I've forgotten her name now. That's, Susie. I'm just answering Mark. Susie. Here. Susie. Mark, Mark. Mark. We're in the. We're in the background. So if you can imagine somebody having an earworm, but you can hear them. Yes, because you can't. If you if Andy runs the audio right now, it will sound like a dentist. It sound like a training a training hospital for dentists if he he puts the audio on while he's doing this. Larry's just sent me a copy of the picture he's working on. I really like it. It's looking really, really good, Larry. Love it. Yes, it was me, Shop Dog. Actually, Shop Dog. That's my Jamie impression. Um, how's it look? How's it sounding? Jamie's not really here. No. It's actually the beard. That would be quite funny. A Jamie puppet. Imagine the fun you could have with a Jamie puppet. Not a lot. Oh, yeah. the real one. You know, no, 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 no. But you can have a, you can have it lean into the microphone and go, oh yeah, whatever you needed it. To. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Where are we? Is he wool? Oh, he's moving closer and closer to the edge again. What's that on the the countertop, but underneath it, Andy? Oh, it's a it's a Dremel bit, is it? Underneath it. Yeah, it's like a wire brush. On uh, if you look over there, that bit, that bit. No wire brush. Other side. Other side. Oh, okay. He's found it. I think he found it. 
Yeah, it's a wire brush. Man. Wire brush and Dettol. Oh, sorry. And the demon speaking again. Doppelganger. Doppelganger for JP. Well, that's not going to end well. Nope. Uh, Mike, you know, uh, Mark says, sorry, uh, Mark says, uh, that carving's looking brilliant, Andy. I've had a look at this um, prisoner unicy uh, unicycle penny farthing, Huey. Hmm. I'll need to have a bit of a think about that. Uh, cause that could be quite good. Could be quite good if it's if it's done right. But you've got to try and capture that nineteen sixties feel for the whole image, not just for the 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 unicycle, uh, the unicycle, the penny farthing. Let's have a bit of a think about that. I used to love the prisoner. As a do doppelganger for JP, he's called Dave Kappa. Yeah. Oh, good God. That was it. Um, I don't know if you guys know the story about this. No. Um, at UKIS, the UK and Ireland Wood Turning Symposium, me and uh, Dave Kappa Sandon, we had to wear name tags like saying I'm not he had to wear one saying I'm not Jamie and I'm and I had to say I'm not Dave because <laughs> people kept coming people kept kept coming up to us and mistaking each other for us. <laughs> I've just got the kind of bananas and pajamas thing going on B one and B two, JP one and JP two. <laughs> yeah. And there's, there's actually, there's actually, uh, we've got video footage somewhere of uh, that was where me and Steve was going around doing the um we started the Oh, what was it? The the, the donut challenge, the no licky lips donut challenge, and Dave failed it the first time. It actually originally started with me and Steve at someone's house. I forget who it was. Mike, was it Mike? Someone? I forget what his name is now. And yeah. uh, that's where that's where it all started. And uh, then we decided to do a UKIS one day, and Dave failed it the first time, and then he he tried doing it again, but he tried getting cocky. And he, he shoved the whole donut in his mouth and he ended up practically choking. <laughs> and, well, everyone laughed. I could see it. I mean, from you, just be, I mean having having two of you wandering around at any one point, I mean, the comedy fun you could have with us would be incredible. Um, yeah, so. David Birch, David Birch out in the chat says, he would like to know more about the one who lost the shop, shop and home. like to help her. I've been through that. So, uh, when do you guys want to pick that one up? I mean, I'm, I'm not 100 percent with it so far. For the, for the, for the, no, for the I, don't, I don't know who that was. Was, was that really the one? Sure? Uh, yeah, was that one that's uh, workshop? Yeah. Band, um? one, one workshop. I think it was. Um, I've lost the link. Sorry, guys. I posted the link on our chat on Facebook. Mike, though. Mike Nash. Mike Nash. Mike Nash. Um, All right. Yeah, lost his lost workshop. His workshop. Um, um, if you go to um, Taylor's Murfield uh, Facebook page, they have got a link there to the, the GoFundMe page for Mike for the the raffle. Two pound a ticket uh, to win a, a nice piece of Australian burr uh, to help towards um, Mike getting his workshop uh, done again. David, I've dropped the link into the chat again. So you can see it. Um, out in the chat. Um, in the chat, we have um, been making a Jenga brick tonight for the Maker's Jenga. Um, said uh, Mark. Um, we also have... Um, out in the chat, in terms of the picture to make, um, uh, I, to make a Dalek... Um, um, the Dalek's a bit different. I'll need to do, need to spend a bit of time thinking about that because if you take my first name of D A L E and you add my first initial, which is K, you wind up with Dalek. So when I go to cut a Dalek, I go to make a Dalek picture. It's going to have to be pretty cool. So I'm not there yet. Not there yet for that one. Um, I agree, Andy. Stunning carving, mate. Says Glenn. 
Um, right. Uh, the reason I was giggling earlier on, or one of the reasons, was that JP sent me a photo. Um, so I have just put that photo up on my Wayne the Wood Turner Facebook page. So you can all <laughs> go and have a laugh. <laughs> it's worth it. Go and have a look. Shower it with likes. Um, uh, Mark says, Dale, I guess you'd been to that shop just with Nair. Is it worth a trip over? I usually just every order everything online. Um, I go to I go to Justwood because it's kind of where my it's kind of where the I grew up a little bit. So when I'm there, when I'm there um, in that part of the world, is supporting a local business, and he tends to look after folks. He's not too bad with prices. Um, if you're over there, um, if you're over in that part of the world, then absolutely, absolutely uh, pop in and see him. Is it worth a, Is it is it three hours round trip? For you, Mark. Yeah, it's three hours round trip. Um, um, if you're going with a few hundred quid to buy wood blanks, it's definitely worth going. Um, um, the great guys in there, cup of tea, take your time. He cuts all the blanks there. He waxes all his his own blanks. So everything you see is made, manufactured, and sold. So it's not like he buys it and you get it, you know, straight from the straight from the source, so to speak. Um, um, and if you're that, if you're in air, what you should do is have a chat with Wayne the Woodturner. You never know; he might invite you down for a biscuit. I've already invited Mark down. Uh, we've just got to, at some point, get a, a date set for him coming down here. And at some point, I am definitely going to have a, a trip up to see him because yeah, the resin good. work he, the resin work he's doing at the moment is uh, absolutely fantastic. And I'd love to see that first hand. Yes, you're over in Fife, Mark, aren't you? I think he's over in Mark. He, he is, is, yes. He is in Fife, yeah. He's seeing you in nine oh, days. Oh, in fact, uh, yeah, in nine days. Um, um, up in uh, Edinburgh, or just south of Edinburgh. Uh, I'm calling up the Broxburn uh, Woodturning Club. Uh, doing a demo on the 26th, so I'll not be doing a live that week on the 26th, because uh, it's obviously a Wednesday. I'm up, up there doing a, an evening demo, so Mark is going to that, so I will meet him there. In fact, I'm doing a, a demo at our local woodturning club in April, um, the full day demo, um, and I've just had a look at the programme, and the March one, uh, Pat Carroll's doing the demo, and I thought, oh, that's bloody nice, he's doing the one in March, now I've got the bloody full of Pat Carroll. Oh, really? God. I mean, yeah, you're gonna have to really. go. Some. You're gonna have to go some. Yes, uh, oh, definitely. Yes, <laughs> I know that deal. Yeah, I know. I mean, you're good, mate. Be under no illusions. You, I, I think you're brilliant, kind of thing. But if Pat's gonna be there, I mean, the patter alone oh, will be good. worth it. Pat's there the month before me. Oh, jeez. You know, the patter yeah. alone from here. The patter alone will be worth hearing. He's, uh, he's quite the entertainer. Um, out in the chat, what do we have? Oh, Dunfermline, uh, uh, says says Mark. Um, laugh out loud, says JP. Steve Twidell says, there's a new Matrix movie coming out there. You could do a scroll, scroll project with that Matrix then. Doing a Matrix 1, maybe? Matrix 4? I don't know. I quite like the fact that Matrix 3 seemed to be a dead end. I don't know. Don't know. Don't know. Don't know. Maybe. Maybe it's one of those ones to watch a bit more about it. Uh, kind of Doing a Matrix theme. What could I do for? What could we do for a Matrix theme? Just thousands and thousands of glyphs. I mean, that'd be a pain in the butt to cut to, to scroll. Right, through. wouldn't it? Just you know, that would be. A uh, pain just in answer to what uh, Mark saying, I'll um, I'll check the date of the the demo, Mark for April, and I'll get back to you. And yes, Glenn, no pressure. <laughs> That'd be quite fun, and it's and then it's makers the month after that, isn't it? 
Yeah, May is the month after that. And then uh, June is... 28th. Um, oh, down in Surrey. Down in Surrey, June 28th. Yeah. Mm. So, so... so well, tw- 29th the demo, isn't it? 20th yeah, it's a Monday. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, so, 29th the demo. So, barbecue at my place, folks, on the 28th. And then the 30th, I'm popping down to CGP. Yep. Back again. Hello to anyone who came in the time, Miss says Leona. Uh, Bigfoot. A blast from the past. Dale, do you have Thunderbird 2? Yeah, yeah, do you have Thunderbird 2? But I was, I tell you what I was thinking about when I had got it into my head, I might do it. I've got a notion to do a Captain Scarlet. I don't know why. Because you keep thinking of the bloody music, that's why. I'm right. I just, I just, I want, I want, I want to be able to do a, a transition that goes dun 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 <laughs> between between kind of something I'm doing in the final picture. <laughs> I'm not going to cut it until I get that right. <laughs> I've got a feeling that when you come down and see me, when you're going to be stuck talking to my old man about the army. Absolutely. Right, no, 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 t- no turning is going to get done. <laughs> no, I, and I get the impression that I've already told Jane that um, I'm going down on the Sunday. Um, I'll be staying the Monday night as well, probably at deals. I'm going down to see Jamie on on the Tuesday. And uh, I've said, I may well be home on the Wednesday. Me well. <laughs> but I tell you, yeah. Once I get down to Jamie's and start talking to Jamie and start talking to his dad and everything, I can see me end up staying the bloody Tuesday as well, to tell you the truth. So um, yeah. I'll not get home till Wednesday or Thursday. Yeah, yeah. No, so oh, uh, we, we have, have, you seen, uh, right, have you seen that comment? Glyn, I never get invited to other Turner's workshops. You've been to mine. Oh, true, Glenn. You were invited any time to come to mine. In fact, I was sitting there across the table, across the table from yourself and your lovely Joe when I was eating some Jaffa cakes in Yorkshire Grit Centre. I absolutely, definitely invited you down. But I think I think Joe kicked you under the table and went, don't go. And if you're ever in Surrey, you should look us up. If you're ever in Surrey, it's, but you know, I mean, Leonia, if you're ever over this way, absolutely just shout and uh, pop in and you can have a play with my leaves anytime. Maybe That's I, think, was I think you're going to bring them horses on leads with you, that, uh, Wayne. Say that again, Jimmy. I missed that. Sorry. Maybe they think you're going to bring them horses on leads with you. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, get rid of the electric cars, use dogs. <laughs> yeah, that's it. <laughs> I, was you... the, I, I, I was going to say to the Perrier, I'll ask the Perrier, um, uh-huh. have either of you been down to Styles and Bates? So, so we were going to go last time when we were there, but between one thing and another, with the, the terrible night I'd had sleeping in that travel lodge, we're going to be back in again. <laughs> um, I never went, so we definitely want to go. I definitely want to go. I'll just spend money, though. I know I'm going to spend money. Have you been no. down there, Jamie? No, I haven't, mate. No. That's, that's really weird. I mean, uh, okay, the, you live in Kent, uh-huh. Jamie. I mean, the... the, yeah. the they're not exceptionally far. They're down in this side, Dover, aren't they? Uh, I know they're in the southeast. Um, I'm not yeah, the, sure where. I'm sure the, the down this side, Dover. Um, yes, uh, yeah. They've, they've, yeah. They've, they've been on the go since the early nineties. Yeah, they're in Dover. I'm just looking. At, I'm looking at the website now. Yeah. Didn't even know that. I knew that they were in the southeast. Didn't realise they were that close. Oh yeah. Uh huh. And they, they, like I say, they've been on the go since the early 90s, Styles and Bates. I remember when they first came out. Mm. You remember when they first came out, kind of thing. I mean, I mean, yeah, that's, when, when, that's, when they first opened up, when they I mean, first opened up the shop. 
I mean, that's comedy gold there, Wayne. I mean, I mean, you, I mean, you, you're just leaving yourself wide open to a possible string oh, of no. jokes about Victorian wood turning and rose lathes and all that sort of thing, ornamental lathes and all that sort of thing. But yeah, we'll just leave it there, shall no, we? No, to tell you the truth, deal. In all seriousness, that is something I would love to have a go on. Yeah. Yeah, it's an ornamental lathe. I'll have a, so one of the they guys. Are absolutely brilliant. I tell, I tell you what, so one I of went, the guys. Uh, sorry, mate, I went on. to a demonstration once in uh, Kendall. Um, the, 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 this particular shop is not good anymore. But the guy had actually set up an ordinary, of the, a plain uh, wood turning lathe, mm. but he'd set up all these jigs and wires and everything. Mm. To turn it into a ornamental rose lathe, and it was absolutely fantastic. It was brilliant. The, there was a, a guy. There was a guy from the AWGB. Um, um, showed me the German uh, uh, lathe bed attachment you can get, where you fit your router around right. it, and you can kind, you can yeah. do everything you can. You know, you, you can't quite get. You know, I mean, some of the movements exactly the same, but you can do a lot with it. You know, it's a German German company maker. I forget the name. Damn it! Okay, but Roger, it's Roger that told me. Um, um, Roger's right. the Roger's the guy who's in charge of the trade stuff for the AD, AWGB. Um, m more importantly, a much more interesting question. I feel, Jeff, if you were if you went to Styles and Bates last year, where were you based, Jeff? Because I mean, I had you. Pe I must confess, I had you pegged for the US. Um, um, what was I going to say? Oh, well, uh, there's a guy, uh, East Surrey, um, Pat, who goes to Ashford, uh, Forest Wood Tunnels, which are really close to where I am. There's a guy there made okay. an ornamental lathe, um, out of MDF and stuff. Brilliant. Uh, uh, I mean, it's absolutely brilliant. I mean, some of this stuff, I was looking at some stuff on, um, Facebook today, and I can't remember what page it was but the stuff you can do with an ornamental day incredible is just out there he did a demo he's sorry with it it was just mesmerizing to watch it's a bit like a spirograph on steroids yes uh, yeah exactly but even so oh sorry jeff um where are you based jeff if you styles and baits was within a day trip where are you based Oh, sit quietly and wait for him to respond. Yes, David, I did say where's it. What we need to do is I should have typed this in so the man had subtitles. <laughs> right. I'll be right back. I'm just popping off to a couple of places. Um, yeah. one, of them's the kitchen. one of them's the kitchen to get a bottle. I was going to suggest that this may be a mission for another reason. Uh, Gillingham. Where's Gillingham? Jamie, where's Gillingham? Um, that is... Uh, I'm trying to say, think. It's in Kent. So okay. I wonder if. Not yeah, far from I wonder, you, No. No, not at all. So I want. Jeff, are you in uh, the Facebook group, Kent Makers? Because we have. Because, we, you know, whenever we get together, mate, you should, you should definitely show up. Uh, Steve says, yep, excited to have you all visiting Van at MC. Lots and lots planned for the weekend. Yeah, between Mostly, and Bourne. Oh, man. Jeff, you need to get join the Facebook group Kent Makers. Because um, we've organized a couple of visits to Sittingbourne. I think we're going back for a Chris yeah, being there. Going, yeah, Chris Fisher's going to be there. Martin Saber smiths going to be there. The Sarah Latici Turner is going to be there. Sarah? I haven't seen Sarah. Yeah, she's going to be there. And there was one other person I'd, I'd, I'd never heard of her. There's usually, there's usually Andy Pugh, myself, the ever-lovely Mr. Page. Um, um, we had, not CDA, Tony, we had... No, but he's, uh, he's not that far. No, we'd see, um, we had, I'm desperately trying to, we have had Dave G down there. Um, 
a couple of other boys from some of the other wood tunneling clubs we were down there. We had Barry uh, down there. Um, quite yeah. a few folks. You get a bit of a meet going on. Definitely yeah. join the group, mate. Definitely join the group. I did not know that. I am. I'm probably an hour from you if you're down in that part of the world. After that, forty minutes, I think. If it's, I shall be less than that. Be less than that. Yeah. In fact, he must be right between you and I, JP. Yeah. Yeah. Well, I'm down. In Mar- I'm, I'm basically in Margate. Yeah. Must be right between us. M20 all the way to Dover. There's a trip worth taking. I didn't know they were down there. I mean, all the way down to um, uh, Oliver's. When I bought yeah, my when, I, when I bought my sharpening when I bought that sharpening equipment that Leona doesn't like, you know, because it doesn't say Tormac on it, and it's possibly it's possibly connected with Mister Sorby. <laughs> you're you are you are you're you're pretty much dead in the middle, mate, between us. Yeah. In fact, it's all around your house after sitting bone. That's kind of that's looking. <laughs> it sounds like it. Uh, lots of folks visit Edinburgh, and I'm only thirty minutes from there. So if anyone's ever up that Thymus Way and want to borrow a workshop, Mark, the next time I'm up north, um, I am I'm so going to give you a shout out and pop in because we we're all we're in Edinburgh quite a lot. My brother tends to play gigs up there. Uh, quite a bit, and if you're only 30 minutes outside, um, um, arranging to pop in for a, a cup of cha um, and a spot of banter would be quite some quite quite cakes. enjoyable. Sorry, some jaffa cakes and iron brew. I'll bring some jaffas. It's always just a matter of tradition. Okay, Andy, that's looking really really good now. How much more to do on that piece? I mean, I've kind of lost track of it a little bit around the edges. Just that piece, and then we're done. Whoa, home straight, folks. We're on a home straight. Money, money. It's a, it's called a it's called a monetary invasion, Mark. That's why I'm in so, down south. Not for not forever though. I want to buy a place kind of up around where Pam is, up kind of back of Perth, that kind of neck of the woods. The back of Perth, she's not in the back of Perth. She's north of Inverness. Well, no, I, was, I just said so. So up kind of around Pam's neck of the woods. I was thinking in Pitlochry to be completely accurate. But, but when you're looking at the map, if I say Pitlochry to you, you'll know what I'm talking about. And if I said Pitlochry to Mark, you'll know what I'm talking about. You say up near Pam, maybe somewhere south of, you know, north of Perth. Folk, some folks get that. If you, oh, say right, Aviemore, okay. if you say Aviemore, they kind of get a bit closer to, you know. But uh, I once described where I thought Pam lived. Um, um, and was completely accurate where I thought Pam lived, but the person I described it to had them pegged out as being in and round the back of Stirling. But there you are. <laughs> yeah. Whole other country north up there. <laughs> Pam, Pam is just northwest of Inverness. I mean, she's well on the road to Thurzo. Yeah. Kind of thing. Well on the road. Which is where, which is where I spent a large portion of my youth was up in old Case Ness. In fact, there's a very good wood turner up in there is. A professional wood turner has been on the go since. Um, oh God, yeah, ever, and he's, he's developed the um, the O'Donnell jaws, Michael O'Donnell. Michael O'Donnell. He's 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 up on the the north coast of Scotland, and still going. Who's the guy that does the colouring? The Scottish guy up north, uh, up, up part from that part of the world that does the colouring. Gary. 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 Gary stuff was awesome. I wish he'd do more videos. Oh yeah, yeah. He he stopped doing the. the um, I don't know. The, he turned professional uh, when was it? Oh, a couple of years ago, and he hasn't put out as many videos since he since he turned professional. Uh, the work that, that Gary does is absolutely brilliant. I mean, thanks. Um, it really thanks. is. The teardrops he was producing, you know, the curved back teardrops. Um, yeah. Just incredible to watch the creation. I mean, look, yeah. You just you just think this was done. And he's, um, I don't know if you've seen the the off center balls that he does as well. He's done yeah. a couple of bids on them, and how he just uses a jam chuck. Yeah, I mean, it's, it's just it's just there's no there's no cash thrown at it kind of thing nope. you know what i mean it's just it's just talent and, and talent and time it's great 
Good guy. He does the. He does. He was the person I first saw using iridescent paints. Yes. Uh huh. Um, Gary tends to use uh, the chestnut ones. Yeah. I tend to. I tend to use the the Joe Sonny ones. Uh, on if, if anybody wants to go and have a look at his stuff on Instagram, he is uh, under the. I think it's the Tartan Turner. Mm. Um, Gary Lowe, the, the guy's name great, is great. Uh, yeah, when, very uh, talented. Yeah, whenever he's doing, um, well, I think this is pretty normal for Gary, yeah. but but whenever he's away and doing demonstrations and things, he always wears a kilt. I'm a I'm a I'm a fan of a kilt. I must say. What was I going to say? Um, I discovered Gary through Tim Yoda. R yeah, because of the cosmic clouds. Yes. Yeah, I mean that was the that was the platter. I mean, I mean, I mean, I mean, you, I mean, you you watch Tim and Tim's Tim's a lot of fun to watch all the time, kind of thing. You discover Gary and you just fall in love with what he does. Just wish he would do more, do more. Look at this, good old guys. Look at where Andy's at. Yeah, having a clean off and looking absolutely brilliant. Yeah, it looks awesome. Look at the, look at the ship. Bye, Glenn. See you later. Night, Glenn. Hope you're not too sick after drinking all that creamy, whatever it was you were drinking. Jeff, PM me on P PM me on Facebook or Insta. I'll make sure you got a link to the right place. Wayne of the Big Feety says, "I love Tim Yoda. Would just love to meet him." Well, you could you could go to the AWGB. Assuming money's no object, you go to the AWGB seminar. Yeah, the yeah, seminar in yep. September. Yep, you could go to uh, that. Tim Yoda. Tim Yoda's going to be demonstrating there. Yes, that's a hideously expensive thing. If ever there was one. Yes, and I'll not be there again this year. <laughs> I'm not going to go. Um, I sound like yeah. I gave it some thought while I was helping the guys out, but I, no. No, 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 no. I tell you, another guy to watch. He he doesn't do. He, in fact, he doesn't do videos, but he puts a lot of stuff, or he puts some stuff on um, Instagram. Is um, David Law? Don't know David Law. Di right, David yeah. Law is uh, based at um, Snaden's um, wood turning. Oh, I know so, David. I've met David. I met David at York, yeah. Yorkshire Great Central. Yeah. Um, yeah. yeah, he, came, yeah, he did he come met, along. I yes. met David. Yes, I know David. Yeah. David does some absolutely fantastic work. He really does. Andy, you're still he, muted, mate. Uh, David is actually one of the brains behind the Record Power. Here we go, guys. Here we go, guys. Yes. Uh, yeah, he does a lot of stuff with Record Power. Looking awesome, Sorry, Andy. I, th I, think, I think Andy... Is Andy going to start talking? Yes. Yeah. Right. If that's all right, guys, sorry to interrupt. <laughs> <laughs> um, cool. So there we go. Um, that looks awesome, mate. It really, really does. You pleased I'm with like, it? Uh, yeah, I, uh, I, to be honest with you, I, it's better than I first thought it was going to turn out. There's a couple of bits and bobs that I'll probably fiddle with. Um, between now and Makers, but this will be at Makers Central, so you could actually physically have a look. Um, yeah, can we? Can we? I'm can you change it to Andy Cam and hold it up so as we can kind of see it? See the <laughs> what uh, the, the slightly bemused? Wow, I can't believe I actually did that. I oh, know right. exactly the feeling. There's the odd moment when, oh, that's impressive. Where where are we now? Oops. Oh, there he is. <laughs> what, was what was that? Uh, that was Bansaw Cam. Oh, okay. Uh, yeah. Um, so there we go. I don't know if you can see that with the camera. If you Seems hold it up bit... towards your face, maybe we'll get it a little bit. There we go. Yeah, you catch the light reflecting off the side of it. Look at that. Yeah, that's you can see awesome. the You can see the detail and the relief there. Look at that. Oh, Christine and Michael are in. Hi, Hi Christine. Hold on. Really like it, mate. Are you going to? Are you going? I mean, somebody said in a previous live, and I might, have, and I might have said again in this one. Are you going to color it, or you know, I mean, change the the the, the 
you know the 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 areas that are are relieved are obviously kind of the natural the areas that are deeper are you going to change the um the, i the color? honestly i don't know i might brush some um brush the background mm. uh, like maybe a with a charcoal or something like that something mm. that will just take the white out of it so you get a bit more in fact charcoal is probably the best thing actually just to get in the gaps mm -hmm. and then maybe um spray lacquer over the top just to seal it in so it don't go anywhere mm -hmm. um but that would certainly i could still see the pen marks so they're gonna get taken off like there's a on a couple of the runes you can see that mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. um take Chance a while. In. I yeah, mean, in the chat, everybody in the chat is saying, um, I mean, it's just, it's just everyone's saying what we're all thinking, which is so damn good, says Leona. Shop dog, Mark says, big freaking axe handle. Uh, David <laughs> Clear says, brilliant, Andy. Um, Herb says, looks awesome. Thank um, you. Christina guys. Michael says, great work. Um, David Clear, oh, so we all said hi. Uh, Larry says, good job. Um, uh, Fleming Turner says that looks good, Andy. I can't think of a right word to explain how good it is. Uh, Jeff says stunning, Andy. Uh, Steve Toydale says that would make an awesome Viking lightsaber, Andy. Andal. Um, Huey says beautiful, Andy. Shop Dog says no. Uh, Leona says giving it an age look might be quite cool. Yeah. Um, Mark um, says maybe some gold or silver leaf. Ooh, actually, wasn't it yeah. yourself? Suggested that the other day I on something done. else. Something actually. else I suggested it for. I suggested it on a certain dragon boil. Oh, <laughs> yeah, <you did. laughs> I um, but um, yeah, no gold leaf might be interesting. Yeah, um, I might because you could put it where you wanted it. You could size, put the size where you needed it to go, and and then brush the brush it because it wouldn't have to. I mean, you could brush it and right, you've got quite good. Yeah, you know. Well, I, I'm not going to do it straight away. I'll get it will obviously uh, mm -hmm. just sort of let it sink in that I've actually finished it. Yeah, <laughs> give it a bit of thought. Yeah, <laughs> and just because I mean there is still quite a couple of little bits that I want. I'm thinking now I'm actually looking at it. The critique I and me's going, oh, you could fiddle with that bit and that would make that bit better and things like that. Um, I've Leona, done the... Leona's just commented that the the scroll saw dragon was freaking awesome too. And I've got to agree you. with that. Uh, yeah, much. it was absolutely mental. Um. <laughs> but... That took a little while. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Mark, um, it will be on the GPS stand. Yes, it will. Uh, make it central. Um, as will I, most likely. Um, in fact, that's exactly where you'll find me. I'll be there nearly all, all of the time while we're there. Um, enjoying myself carving. Um, I hope you guys come and have a look. See what GPS have got. They've got um, quite, a, quite a few bits and bobs that they're going to be taking along. And it's not going to be, it's worth having a look. Let's just say that it's 100% worth having a look. Um, <laughs> uh, yeah. So, um, anyway, I'm going to uh, give it a say goodnight. Um, guys, if you want to say goodnight, that'd be cool. Uh, I'll stick you on the screen if you're all cool with that, yeah? What's that, Mr. Thumb? Yeah, no problem. What's that, Mr. Thumb? You really like Andy's work? All right. Um, so... <laughs> <laughs> oh, brilliant. Cool. Well, anyway, done. well done. Thanks. <laughs> Thanks, guys. Take it easy. Blank face. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> just my usual blank face. Uh -huh. <laughs> Take it easy, guys. And uh, we'll see you soon. Cheers. Well, cheers, Andy. Bye, everyone. Thank you all. Bye, everybody.